I wanted to give you seven tips and tricks on hair growth, on how to grow your hair, and how to just take care and maintain your hair. So my first tip is to get to know your hair and make a schedule. So these kind of go hand in hand. Getting to know your hair, um, what I mean by that is some curly hair likes protein, some doesn't. Some is high porosity, some is low porosity. Um, there's different curl textures and curl patterns, you know, 3A, 3B, 3C, um, 4A, and, and so on. And, um, your hair may like to be washed once a week, once a month, twice a week, whatever. And, um, so it's very important to take a good month or two. It's going to need to, to be that long to just figure out what your hair likes. Like look, look at your hair and pay attention to it. When you add protein in a deep conditioner, what does it do? Does it make your hair stringy? Does it, you know, make the curls bounce? Um, whatever. And, you know, if you wash your hair once a week, is your hair still manageable and soft and moisturized? Or do you need to maybe do it twice a week? Or do you need to do it bi-weekly? Um, so you really need to just be in tune with your hair. And then that brings it into the next point, which is make a schedule. So after you know kind of what your hair likes, what it doesn't, the products it likes, what it doesn't, then you can make a schedule. Um, so my schedule was once a week deep conditioning and oil treatment, and then once a week shampooing. And then if I needed to, if I found that my hair was dry, which I mean, those were the winter months, so I would maybe co-wash, um, like three days after, three or four days after I, I deep conditioned and did my main treatment and then styled it as usual. And that just gave my hair more moisture. So my second is get your hair trimmed and or cut. Um, so a trim is just a little bit that they're taking off. Doesn't need to be that much. Cut is when they're taking a considerable amount off. I mean, an inch or two or three or more. Um, it really depends on your hair, depends on when's the last time you had it cut, if you have any heat damage, um, how many, how many uh, split ends you have. Because really, if you have a lot of split ends but you want to retain the length, then that hair is just going to keep splitting and splitting and splitting up to the top of the shaft and it's never going to grow. It's going to be, it's going to be unhealthy. So if you have to do something like a big chop where you have to chop off a lot of your hair, that's a scary thing because you're not retaining your length, but your hair is going to be healthier for it and then it'll grow faster and you'll be able to maintain that new growth, that new healthy growth. So number three is get some hair growth vitamins. So I use the Nature's Bounty um, biotin gummies. It's hair, skin, and nail gummies. And you take a couple of those a day. Usually I only take one a day. Uh, I, I've always been that way. At the very beginning, I did take two for a while there, but then I just dropped it down to one. Uh, but taking some kind of gummies like that or vitamins is really going to help give your body those nutrients it needs to strengthen your hair so that you can retain length. So it doesn't actually make your hair grow or make your nails grow. It strengthens them from the inside out so that they can grow and maintain that length. And um, that's a common myth. So that is something that is very important, I believe. You need to have strong, healthy hair and you need to be strong and healthy inside so that the outside can reflect that. So number four is get a silk pillowcase. Um, absolutely essential. Essential for me, I did start out using like a head wrap, but it would never stay on my head. Uh, I don't know why, it just doesn't. Um, so I opted to get the pillowcase and that way I just throw my hair up into a pineapple or a messy bun and go to sleep. I don't have to worry about anything falling off and the silk pillowcase is going to protect my hair. So the silk pillowcase does not draw moisture out of your hair. Um, regular cotton, um, pillowcases or, or the synthetic fibers 
they draw moisture out of your hair and they create friction from rubbing on it at night. So your hair is going to, it's going to be harder to maintain those wash and goes and it's going to draw moisture out, which means you're going to have to put more moisture back in more frequently. So the pillowcase helps to combat those things. And I mean, now I can throw my hair up in a messy bun, go to sleep, bring it down, kind of shake it out, whatever, and it's done. I don't need to really do anything about it. It doesn't cause any frizz. Um... And then I do use like some kind of a head wrap or whatnot for when I'm doing my oil treatments, if I'm doing it overnight, because that's messy and you don't want to get it everywhere. So whatever kind of head wrap you want to use um, just to kind of keep the oil in your head, in your hair. So number five, so the curly girl method says to finger detangle. Um... I do do that sometimes and I did start off doing that but honestly I, I just I don't have time for it it takes so long and it takes so much product and so I was like okay I need to find something that is really going to help me detangle my hair so that I'm not you know having to go through this and using so much product in the shower or or whatever so I did buy um, this. So it's a Tangle Teaser. Um, this one actually I got at the dollar store. I got it for $1.25. These, I mean, you can get them at like Walmart or, um, any kind of hair store, I guess. And they run regularly about 10 or 15 bucks, even on Amazon. I've seen them. So this is a good product on wet, um, conditioned hair. It doesn't really pull out the hair, um, it's very gentle at getting the tangles out of your hair. Um, you always want to detangle your hair with wet on, with wet hair, um, and have like a lot of conditioner in it because that's going to be, you're going to find the less, least amount of breakage that you're getting from your hair. You want to start from the bottom and just work your way up. Uh, now what I do use though is a wet brush. Um, I got this. It's actually, that's like the brand, the wet brush, um, wet brush pro, I guess I got this off of Amazon. Um, it cost like maybe $20. I want to say, um, this brush is amazing. Uh, you can use a conditioner with little to no slip and not very much conditioner and this is going to get through your hair nicely and gently without taking out much hair this helps to reduce the amount of shedding that i get and the amount of just hair pullage and hair breakage from the tangles and whatnot this is amazing really 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 great product highly recommend it number six is to drink more water I mean, we all know the benefits of drinking water. I still have to work on this. It's it's hard for me and I don't know why, but I always just forget. But drinking lots of water, it helps to flush out your system. It helps your hair to grow, your skin to glow, and everything to just function the way that it's supposed to be. So I know that you guys have heard this before, but it's because it is very, very, very important. You can do all of this other stuff, and if you're dehydrated, it's not going to show. Or it's not going to show as good as it could if you drink drink more water. And then the final tip is weight. It, this is the hardest one because you want to see those results. You're putting in all of this time and this effort and this money, and you want to see the results. But you just have to wait you it's all a process and really throughout this whole curly hair journey what I've learned is just to embrace my curls to love the hair that I have and to trust the process we're always learning everybody's learning all the time we're learning as we grow um and as we move forward and really you're going to find better products better things better um, ways to do things and so the best thing you can do is just wait don't harp on it don't obsess over your length of your hair or anything like that when when I focused on just living my best best life 
and the health of my hair, the health of myself, I really saw a difference. And that's the main goal is to see a difference. I mean, my hair didn't grow for lit literally 10 plus years. It did not grow. It was the same length. I mean, that's all the stuff that I was using, the products I was using. I, I wasn't taking care of my hair at all. And it really showed. It really did. I mean, my hair was never really unhealthy in that way. I didn't have tons of split ends or anything like that, but my scalp wasn't healthy. My hair wasn't healthy and it showed. So that is the biggest thing is wait, be patient. I know that it's hard, but don't focus on it. And when you just do what you're supposed to do, everything else will just fall into place.